miss you guys so much. It's Famo. Oh, hey, it's Oscar. It's Kira. Wait, wait, no, no, Puto. Yeah. What's up, Famo and Faze, all the family? If you haven't already, go subscribe to the Unwasted Talent channel because our whole family will be dropping heat on that channel. <coughs> guys, this video is going to be about awareness. We're going to talk about awareness and suicidal issues and stuff like that so there was this kid um we were setting up our hunting house or whatever and then we went to popeye's to go get some food me and the fam and then um we came in this room to sit down and eat and we saw someone that we were familiar with and he was leaving and we noticed cuts on his arm i saw it but it didn't process in my mind so oscar tapped me and he was like oh look at his arm so i was like okay i'll address it so he was basically just talking about how you know, shit's not going right in his yeah. life and all that. So that was like his little. And, so that's what's basically trying to tell him that that's not gonna solve shit. Like, what's cutting? Us, what is that gonna do? Right, it's not gonna do nothing. You just gonna you just harm yourself for no reason. I like, and she was like, oh, she get that you like you going through stuff. It might be hard, but what what is that really gonna do but harm you and leave scars on your body? Right. Personally, I have in the past. I I regret it to an extent. But I have cut myself before. Mentally, it's just like, okay, let me do this. Adrenaline, I'm hurting. Let me show my scars. Let me let me hurt. But you're not you're not solving anything. I'm telling you, if you are going through something and you are cutting yourself or harming yourself in any way, I'm telling you, you're not solving anything. You're making it worse mentally. You might feel better. You might think, oh, okay, this feels this hurts, but I like the pain. No, that's not the way to go. When I used to cut myself, I don't even know what will go through my mind because I'm not like that anymore. And I'm telling you, once you get past what you're going through, you feel it will better. never be the same. You will feel so much better. All you have to do is just talk. If you don't want to talk to anyone, write it down. I talk to my friends when I can, but if there's something that I can't address as soon as possible, I would write it down. Write it down. It helps. You have to you cannot keep stuff built Wrong. up. Yes. Yeah, you have to you have to Let express yourself. And but don't let it out by trying to cut yourself because the as soon as it heal up people like to go right back and try to oh i'm hurting again so i have to do it again and you keep doing it it's, it's just it just keeps going there's on. a lot of outlets at the end of the day we could always just listen to music some people feel better listening to music yeah. some people feel better doing after school activities some playing people feel sports better drawing or writing writing like find what you like to do to take your mind off of whatever you're going through Especially teenagers, we're at a certain age where we feel like, you know, what we're going through is so terrible. Yeah. But the way I get through stuff is I always try to remember that there's someone out there going through something 10 times <coughs> as worse as myself. You so, always have to think about that because there really is always somebody out there that's going through something. Like, you might feel like, oh, my mom, she don't care about me. Oh, my family don't care. My sister doesn't care. But there might be somebody out there that nobody like they don't have nobody they don't have their mom they don't have their dad they'll have right. nobody for them and if you honestly feel like that even after <coughs> watching this video or watching other awareness videos we are an outlet you have our social media all you have to do is put something in the comments we'll send you the email we will talk to you we will respond we will help you get through anything because they actually believe it or not you think cutting yourself helps but talking about it and letting it out helps way more than you can imagine Seriously, I went to church like I'm not, you know, I believe in God. I'm not telling you to believe in God, but I believe in God. And back when I was going through stuff, I wasn't very religious. But when I did go to church and I did start to search for God, I figured out what you're going through is just a season. It's just temporary. You're living in the moment. You have to think about your future. If you have suicidal thoughts or if you have thought about committing suicide in the past, that's just the moment. You have to think about the people that are still going to be here after you take your life away. Or you have to think about the impact or the benefit of you staying here. You can help someone else. I almost took my life, but I'm here trying to help other people. And because of that, I have amazing friends. I have a great support system. Like I have people that care about me, and I can say that I truly love them and care about them. Because especially these two right here, <coughs> aside from everyone... Like, you know, all my friends have helped me in the way. But these two, like, seriously, like, I can talk to them about anything. I can go to them about everything. And it has helped me better myself as a person. Friends, even if you just have one friend or, like, 
Because we all know friends don't last forever. Mm, no, for sure. son. Some friends, they'll be there one minute and then they, they flaw. You family don't feel that forever. connection because a lot of people don't have that luxury of family or friends yes. or anything. But once you feel that connection that's really real and true to you, then you'll know that's the people you have to stick with for sure. Right. And even now, us today, like we still go through things. Sometimes we do keep things inside or sometimes we tell certain of us. So if I'm going through something, I could probably tell Jakira and not Oscar. Or if I'm going through something else, I can tell Oscar and not Jakira. But at the end of the day, all of us end up finding out and we help each other at yeah. the end of the day as a whole. But I'm telling you guys, if you talk, it will help. And that's another good thing about having like multiple friends because sometimes you have a situation where that where one of your friends might like understand what you're going through more than one of your other friends so you right. might be able to go to them and not the other person because they understand they've been through it or they just have that mindset so we're here for you guys um i just that situation just inspired us to make a video we're all in it like i never cut myself because i i'm i'm not gonna say i was too pussy but i just couldn't like i'll be like Fuck, like I can't do that shit. But I have thought about killing myself before. But like, I just was like, mm, what? Well, like, I want to have kids. Like, I want to have a. I want to get married. I want. I want a future. So I was like, I'm gonna just have to stick this shit out because right. it's just gonna be right now. It's not gonna be like this forever. And then most of my most of my problems was with family and my mom and my siblings. It was just a lot, and I was just. I was just mad at that moment, but afterwards I was just be like, bro, I gotta sh shake this shit off. Like, yeah. real niggas don't do that shit. Real niggas shake like, that shit off, man. Yeah, you gotta shake that shit off. You gotta move on and be like, cause you're not gonna. And I was like, I'm not gonna stay in my mom's house forever. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be banging it soon. So like, what about you? I'm in chill. This in nigga. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it's not funny, y'all. Um, I mean. <clears throat> I've thought about killing myself several times. Um, times that get really bad, I still do. But at the end of the day, there's always going to be a goal or motivation that you have that will drive you not to do it. That will have you keep going, moving forward. For me, it's my little brother, off Alphax. Mm -hmm. um, but there's always going to be that one goal to you that is going to keep driving you forward. It could be something petty, it could be something major. But just always keep that in mind, no matter what. For me, it was like... I just want to see myself in the future, like, like, ten years from now. I want to see myself, like, I want to, I want to be able to live as, like, I want to be able to live to see myself progress, like, be right. greater than what I am right now. The main three things that stuck with me that should, or could possibly stick with you, there's always someone out there that's going through worse than you or feeling worse than you. What yeah. you're going through is a season; it's just temporary. And the third thing that recently stuck with me because of my older sister, like the Bible says, um, even in your deepest waters, I'll be with you. Mm -hmm. So if you do believe in God or if you're like, God, why is this happening to me? Everything happens for a reason. And you're going through this right now, but in the future, you won't have to go through that. You won't have to hurt like you're hurting now or you won't have the same mindset that you have now. So even in your deepest waters, he's still with you. And I'm a living testimony of that. I'm not trying to, I'm not, I'm going to say this, but I'm not trying to tell, I'm not trying to force none of y'all to convert to Christianity. I'm Baptist. You're, you're, I'm, I'm Celeste. I'm not a Christian. I'm not, I believe you're, in God. You're a Christian if you believe in God, but you're but, just not a domination. I'm hands down black Baptist. I'm Baptist, like all the Baptist. But going to church really helps because when I was going through stuff, and people like to be hypocrites in, in church a lot. There's a lot of people who are hypocrites. And you're going to have people in church that are hypocrites because people They're are human. just, it's yeah, people people, it's people people are people. But you, if your mind is focused on God and you're worried about yourself growing in Christ, then you're not going to care what, what those people in church say. Because there's always going to be somebody in church, my bad, talking shit. Because they're, they're people. people. But you got to learn to... Eat it. Yeah. Fake it. Tell them to, like, Whatever. kiss my behind. But, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But it helps. It helped me. Even now, like, you know, when I go through something, I just pray. I pray, listen to music that will probably calm me down, or even put on some church music because people can't listen to trap music all the time. So, you know, I just pray. You just pray. 
so yeah guys we just wanted to talk to you and touch bases with you because you guys haven't seen us in a while and we truly miss you we have videos coming soon that just haven't dropped yet we're waiting for the right time but you know we're always here if you want to talk to someone we're here for each other we're a family this is famo and Faisal family you know what a family is everybody everybody's family period if you haven't already tell somebody tell somebody what tell somebody to subscribe to our channel and watch our videos and don't forget to go subscribe to unwasted talent and drum roll please i want you guys to go subscribe to two other youtubers one of the youtubers um is dirk da vinci shout out to dirk da vinci you know they dropped shout out shout out shout out <laughs> they dropped some fire videos let's see hold on you got something black in your hair my hair <laughs> Your hair is black. Go subscribe to Dirk Da Vinci's YouTube channel and Louis and Stanley. Stanley, man. That's a great gaming channel, bro. Y'all, he gonna drop some fire. He just waiting for y'all, man. When you get them subscribers up, you start dropping. To be honest, so y'all go subscribe to both of them and tell them Famo and Fazo family sent you. We out. We. Out.